multi-center, blinded, randomized clinical trial comparing the use of flunixin megalamine with furacoxib in horses with small intestinal strangulating obstruction. I'm Dr. Amanda Ziegler and I'm a veterinarian at NC State University. In horses with severe small intestinal strangulating colic, complications related to endotoxemia remain a persistent cause of postoperative mortality. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are routinely used to treat signs of endotoxemia by inhibiting cyclooxygenase, or COX enzymes. COX-1 is expressed constitutively and contributes to gut barrier repair. COX-2 is induced in inflammation and contributes to signs of endotoxemia. We hypothesize that in horses recovering from surgery to correct small intestinal strangulating obstruction, horses treated with furacoxib, a selective COX-2 inhibitor, would reduce the signs of endotoxemia to a greater extent than flunixin, a non-selective inhibitor, while continuing to provide similar levels of pain control. To test our hypothesis, we implemented a blinded and randomized prospective clinical trial at three university hospitals in the United States. 56 horses were enrolled in this study between 2015 and 2017 and were analyzed. Most horses received a preoperative dose of flunixin megalamine prior to hospitalization due to common field management practices. To normalize preoperative conditions, all patients were administered a preoperative dose of flunixin before they were randomly and blindly allocated to be treated with either flunixin or furacoxib during postoperative recovery. In addition to clinical monitoring, preoperative and postoperative plasma samples were taken for further analysis. A lack of inhibition by furacoxib and inhibition by flunixin of the COX-1 prostanoid thromboxane B2 confirmed COX-2 selectivity by 48 hours postoperatively. Both drugs inhibited COX-2 prostanoid prostaglandin E2. There were no significant differences in blinded behavioral pain scores between groups. However, there was approximately a three-fold increased risk of increased plasma SCD14 in horses treated with flunixin. From this trial, we concluded that in small intestinal strangulation cases, furacoxib reduced a validated biomarker of endotoxemia as compared to flunixin, while providing similar levels of pain control. Future studies to evaluate greater numbers of horses and randomized drug allocation at the onset of field management may reveal differences in clinical signs of endotoxemia and survival. This trial provides important preliminary evidence that furacoxib offers clinical benefits in horses recovering from strangulating colic.